Hey everyone, I'm Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and welcome to episode 13 of Let's Platinum God of War. Alright, so my talisman is nearly back. How many did we have up to? Six. Alright, cool. Uh, let's have Atreus read this. Look here. Sir. Kaveka. Okay, prepare yourself. Okay, here they are. Even though these guys are level 3, they actually can't do, like, that much damage to us, so that's pretty good. Especially if we do this and this. And even though they're ice, like, blue, it, there's no reason to, like, panic about not being able to do damage with my Leviathan Axe, which is nice. This one there is. Nice. See if I can hit you into the wall. Nice. Punch. Keeping an eye on my threat indicator. Like that. Ooh. Okay. That was interesting. How did I do that? Uh, oh, I saw them transform and gain the, <clears throat> the, like, deadly... Like, what happened there was they... Something happened right at the end, and they uh, became more powerful uh, enough to kill me in one hit. But I couldn't Boy, dodge it. <laughs> over here. That sucks. Sir. All right, we'll try again. <clears throat> How are we going? Okay, that's not too bad. I will. I do want to use the uh, talisman. It just takes a second to use sometimes. So I couldn't remember where they spawned, spawned in from. Another interesting thing is, <clears throat> I don't think it was meant. Damn it. I don't think this was on purpose, but when the enemies spawn in, if you hit them, they don't have, like, any kind of defense to avoid that hit. Um, so when those two guys spawned in, they immediately, like, went flying. Even with uh, Atreus's arrow, which would have, like, such a minimal impact. Nice. Um, okay, so let me, <coughs> let me use my, my talisman. I don't think freezing them will do anything. Oh, okay, that's not too bad, actually. No, the axe is not working. Let me try something. Okay, it didn't work. <laughs> okay, so I just need to punch them to death, basically. Stay away. Oh, he got all, like... Muddy. That's pretty cool. Mm. I know. I can see it. That one was transforming, but <clears throat> I managed to hit him with the Traces arrow before he did by switching targets and pressing square. Take this. A lot of the moves that you can do do. Like, they're quite similar. You notice, like, I'm just punching, 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 punching. But it's just... But it's just the nature of, like, the early game. We do a little bit uh, more different things as we progress. Alright, we won. Let's talk to this guy. You're dead? <laughs> You're very perceptive. And reckless. Take caution when lighting these braziers. Sailor and Hellwalkers will swarm to the flames like moths. I assume we have you to thank for freeing us from a watery grave. Us? Other spirits. The Lake of Nine is full of them. Most are able to move on from this realm. But we, lucky few, are stuck here in Midgard. Until our affairs are in order. Perhaps you can help them as well. We have no desire to help you, spirit. Ah, but you already have. I only wished to see the sky again. Farewell. Okay, <clears throat> so for completing this uh, first of four um, sort of parts of this favor, which is essentially a side quest, oh, you receive the versatile warrior's handle. Let us not be distracted. Uh, it is a common axe pommel and it increases strength, defense, and luck. Upgrade to increase in additional stats. Um, it's the, here's the annoying thing. It's basically exactly the same thing as the weighted war handle. Um, and if you manage to upgrade it fully, um, the only difference is that this gives you a little bit more luck and this gives you more of like everything. 
So I guess since I haven't upgraded this one, I may choose to stick with this one, um, which I can upgrade later. So I don't know, we'll see. Sadly, none of them, or like both of them at max level have the same like power level essentially, which um, yeah, it makes it harder to choose between them, but it, they're virtually the same. All right, up here, we want to open this weird looking chest, which requires a trace of salt. And inside we find... <clears throat> hey, it's a fragment of a language cipher. We should look for more like this. We find a Muspelheim um, fragment cipher. Why is that still spinning? <laughs> um, there are four of them that we need to collect in order to unlock the Realm of Fire. More of those. Number five Good. for that one. Um, in order to unlock the Realm of Fire and also on top of that to... Um, <clears throat> Uh, to, I think, unlock how to read the runes that we've uh, come across several times already. Let me have a look at that again. This one's eight. All right, seven to go. Doing pretty well so far. I guess we should keep an eye out for other spirits. What did I say about distractions? But it sounds like they needed help. They are spirits, boy. Dead things. They have no needs, only wants. It feels wrong to ignore them. We will get over these feelings. Mom would have wanted to help them. What was that, boy? Nothing. I thought as much. <laughs> There's such a difference in how Kratos, um, you know, what's I, I can't remember a single word to finish my sentence. Conducts Crow. and how Kratos conducts what other himself. Have you got? There was a horse. The horse sought vengeance upon his enemy, a stag. But he could not kill the stag alone. The horse met a man, a hunter, and made a deal. He took the man's bit and bridle and allowed him to ride in the saddle on his back. Together, they killed the stag, and the horse tasted victory. But the hunter would not release the horse and made a slave of him. So getting revenge cost him his freedom. Hope it was worth it. It was not. All right, that is one of the best stories in the whole game because that story is a reference to Kratos' past and a reference to what he did in the previous games. Um, it's difficult to remember the full story, but I think he he's the horse and he asked the stag for help and then the stag wouldn't let him go or something. I, I can't remember, but essentially, yeah. Um, it's, it's his story from the previous games. And uh, and we know this because um, at the very end, Atreus says, so getting revenge cost him his freedom. I hope it was worth it. And he ends by saying it was not. <laughs> so yeah, a really cool thing that probably went over the heads of many, many people when hey, they first played this. Another brazier. I suppose you wish to light it. Can I? Okay, yes, we can light another brazier here. Um, <laughs> Let's make sure that's available. We'll just keep all these, uh, you know, health things available because there's another fight here. Gvegia. This one's a little tougher, but hopefully we can get through it. Careful. Oh, yes, I almost forgot. Um. Damn it. <laughs> okay, so the reason I died there is because I'm an idiot. <laughs> um, killing the first one was good, um, but what happened with the second enemy was that he has this like little shield thing that he uses to protect himself, and if you run near it, um, it explodes and uh, freezes you, which is hey, terrible in this game. Brazier. I suppose you wish to light it. Can I? Yep. <laughs> Hurry up. <clears throat> Read it and let's fight again. I'll start Maybe. doing the same thing, but. Just make sure not to get caught out this time. Nice, I don't know if that counted. Probably didn't, because otherwise I would have got the... Okay, so there he is. So I want to stay like a little further away than normal. Okay, let me grab this. Use this, try and avoid the throws. Damn it! Fine. Ah, oh. <laughs> I actually managed to kill that guy again. I said I was too close. All right. Um, seeing as that happened, I will cut to my successful attempt. So let's hope this is it.
Hey, it's another brazier. I suppose you wish to light it. Can I? Kavikia. Interesting this time they didn't create a shield. Create a shield, but I stopped him. Nice shot. Come on, come on. Oh, wow, I was so slow and I still managed to get him. <laughs> yes, we did it. Alright, awesome. Glad that's over. I don't believe it. Are you both alive? Another spirit. Yes, another spirit. Okay, go around, collect everything. Nice, practically at full health. Let's talk to the spirit. I can't remember the last time I saw something walk these islands that wasn't dead or corrupted. What do you mean? The desolation, child. It plagues this land, growing more severe with each passing winter. Do you know its cause? Not for certain, but I suspect the appearance of the World Serpent, along with the great flood that followed. Many were drowned, myself among them. The dead began to walk not long after. Do you need anything from us? Boy. I only wish to speak to someone again. A wish you have just granted. Thank you. Okay, and we find a corrupted remnant. A mystic remnant of a soul lost at sea used to upgrade the versatile warrior's handle. So we got the versatile warrior's handle before, and now we got the item that we need to upgrade it. Also got a bunch of experience there. Um, if we picked up the, <clears throat> the map that was at, I believe... It was either this one here, the Lookout Tower, or the Stone Falls. I think it was Stone Falls. Uh, we are able to dig up this little um, dirt pile here and collect a very, very, very useful item known as a Lapta Alloy. Uh, Lightning-infused metal used by the Kin of Thor, used to upgrade pommels with shock damage effects found in treasure, treasure map caches. Um, the boat captain's key, treasure map complete, awesome. Sharp sig sigil of cunning as well, we got there. Uh, so we're gonna actually swap out our defense symbol of perseverance. Where did I find this? Hmm, must've got a lucky drop or something. And we're gonna put this on it. Uh, we're gonna get four runic and moderate perk activation chance to grant a gift of strength on any successful axe kill. Not too bad, not, but not too terrible. I mean, not too good, but not too bad either. Um, okay, we'll leave the rest. We also want to destroy this pot here. And by doing that, we open up this little area here. It's interesting how small this island is and how easy it is to miss things. This here contains a very rare item known as a solid Svartelfheim steel. Uh, so not a soft one, a solid one. And finally, you, you need to use your elevated position here to destroy that red explosive pot in order to collect the, I think it's the sixth um, ship head. Yes, the sixth one. Uh, I also got a bunch of experience, didn't I? So what else could I... So I did this to level two. I guess I may as well learn this one here because it's still good. <clears throat> I don't really use it that often, but freezing burst is still good. So you hold it. And then when it, it does that, you you do that. So it's it's a small amount of like freeze damage, but it's it's something. Okay, that's good. Now we continue to the next area. Now you want to make sure I should have said this before, but you want to make sure you have enough um, to use your rage for the next bit because. Boy, what did <clears throat> I tell you about offering sorry, help? Sorry. Don't. Correct. But can we? This just... is not a debate. You must learn focus. Our journey need be your only concern. But what if they can help us? That one seemed to know a little about the lake. And how does that help us with our goal? We won't know unless we ask. <laughs> yeah, there's a um, the interesting dynamic between them. Um, yeah, you want to have the uh, the what's called rage because this next fight is actually really difficult. 
Please don't start talking. Okay, cool. Well? Well, what? The brazier? If you must. Alright, here we go. This fight is pretty tough, so I'm just gonna try and do it. Let's see how it goes. Kaveka. I know the first one appears around here. The reason this is so tough is because those nightmares are high level. And that one in particular is uh, like one shot, one kill. Okay, good. Let's do. That is not what I meant to do, but okay. Freeze. Spartan Rage. Nice. Took good. <laughs> Why can't you go to that guy? That's... <laughs> I, I, I specifically went for the nightmare and the game was just like, no, I can't reach it. He's too high. Give me a break. Why didn't he do his little jump in the air? Ah, that's so Lord. annoying. Yes, sir. That didn't go terribly, but for some reason the Spartan Wait, Rage just failed. Let's try again. Okay, nice. Oh, that was amazing. Please don't kill me. One, two. There we go. Why didn't you do that before? Alright, let's see if I can knock him into the air. Nice. Oh crap, there's one there. Okay, these guys have block, uh, shields, <coughs> so it's the first time we get to use block break. Um, how am I going to do this? I would like to freeze you. Okay, it didn't work. I'll just kill you. These guys also explode after- Ooh! Ooh! That, that was scary. <laughs> I thought I was dead. Okay, nice. Well done, Trace. Quick. Let me shatter him. Oh, that probably doesn't work. <laughs> okay, use the health first. We are done here. <laughs> well done, boys. Never thought I'd see a scrap like that again. Nice. I even got some rage back as well. That was awesome. All right, let's talk to this guy. Want? To thank you, these dead reavers drowned me many winters ago, and I've been itching to see them get theirs. So you died after all the flooding? Indeed. I came to the Lake of Nine to pillage Tyr's temple, but I underestimated the severity of the desolation. Have you seen other men? Living? A bearded one with tattoos. Only the one standing in front of me. <laughs> Thank you both for avenging my death. Okay, and we got this. Well, we can't expect them all to know something useful. Okay, cool. So, let's have a look. Uh, we got another good amount of experience. We could learn more of this stuff, but I'm hesitant to do so because there's probably better stuff that we can learn eventually, like upgrading these. Even though these take like 4,000 to upgrade, they're still really, really good. Um, let's continue. Uh, we have a little bit of time left. I'm just going to grab the last few things. Ah, yes, that one. Okay, cool. I was like trying Maybe to remember what's the last one. Information. Keep your expectations low, boy. Spirits are rarely useful. How do they even exist? When you sever a man from his life, it is not always a clean cut. So you've met other spirits? Yes. Many. What were they like? Annoying. <laughs> Pretty sure he says that line twice in the game. He says, keep your expectations low, boy. And there's one time where he says, keep your expect expectations low, boy, and you will never be disappointed, I think is that how it goes. Story? One more. Uh, there was a tale of a frog. I'm gonna quickly. Enough. Stories are for the boat. I, I guess that. Focus. Yeah, yes, I guess that's a good way of um, pointing it out. Stories only happen when you're on on the boat. Uh, so this is a weird area, and I actually would prefer if someone could tell me what's going on here. So, I mean, it has like the runic lettering that looks like it says M N M or something. I can't remember like. 
haven't learned the runic alphabet perfectly, only a few letters here and there, um, even though there's not that many. But this is the only place in the whole game, as far as I can remember, with these weird looking barrels. I don't know why. I don't know what it references. Anyway, we found the sixth or the seventh? Seventh, nice. You can destroy them. It, it, they look like barrels that explode, right? Like in any video game, it's like, oh, red barrels, they explode. I mean, the company that made Outlast is literally named Red Barrels, so yeah, very strange. Oh, no, 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 no. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. Uh, we're gonna end the episode here, but I did make a mistake. I forgot, um, forgot something. Uh, yeah, so I'm not sure why those are there. Um, I don't remember them coming up at all throughout the rest of the game or anything like that. So, yeah, very strange. The thing I forgot to do was if you go here, you can actually hit that Odin's yeah. Raven by just throwing a little bit higher than normal. And you get it. Um, there's another realm tear, which is too strong for us, I'm pretty confident. And let me just have a quick look here. Wow, this is going really well. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to end off here, and just before I finish, yeah, the, the way the stories work is they, they will only, I should have mentioned this the first time, they'll only, or Kratos will only, like, tell the story when you're on the boat, uh, and it'll just be, like, interrupted if you get off the boat, so that's why I was trying to avoid that as much as I could. Um, did an okay job. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see, either one more time, why not? Okay, and we'll leave things there. For now, I want to thank you all for watching episode 13 of Let's Platinum God of War. My name is Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and I'll see you next time.